For over 300 years, Huskvarna has been nestled along the shores of Lake Vettern in southern Sweden. Since 1872, Huskvarna Viking has been the world leader in the development of the most advanced and easiest sewing machines. Welcome to the wonderful world of sewing with Huskvarna Viking. This user's guide video will help you learn your Huskvarna Viking Designer 2 to the fullest. Watch the technique, then stop the video and sew the techniques when this logo appears at the end of each section. Start your tape counter at zero now and note the counter number for special techniques so you can return to them in the future. Be sure to watch the end of this video to learn about all the optional creative themes for your designer too. Now, let's get sewing. Place your Husqvarna Viking Designer 2 on a firm surface. Pull out the foot control cord. Plug the foot control in the front socket. Plug the power cord into the back socket. Turn on power and light. Place the accessory feet, bobbins, and other accessories in the accessory tray. An extension is stored in the back of the accessory tray. Place the extension into the space between the tray and the free arm. Lift the front lid to open it. Use the main spool pin horizontally with the small spool holder under the thread so the thread reels counterclockwise. Place the flat side of the small spool holder against small spools, the large spool holder against large spools. For extra large spools or for threads with special characteristics, use the main spool pin vertically with a felt pad under the spool. When threading from the vertical spool holder position, start threading from the second threading guide arrow. When threading from the horizontal spool holder position, start threading from the first of the threading guide arrows. Continue to follow the arrows through the thread tension, down, and up to the thread take-up lever. Down again, and through the hook on the needle bar. Pull the needle threader down and forward. Place the thread in the metal guide and under the hook. Bring the needle threader back and up. Pull the loop of thread out under the presser foot and into the thread cutter. To wind the bobbin directly from the needle, place the empty bobbin on the bobbin winder spindle with the Husqvarna Viking logo mark toward you and pull the bobbin down to engage bobbin winding. Pull the thread under the presser foot, over the guide wires and the bobbin guide disc. Wind a few turns of thread and cut. Step on the foot control to wind the bobbin, or touch the start-stop function button. The bobbin stops automatically when full. Move the bobbin winder spindle up, remove the bobbin, and cut the thread. To wind a bobbin directly from the spool, raise the second spool pin, pull down the bobbin on the bobbin winder spindle, Place the large spool holder on the spool pin and thread around and into the bobbin tension disc, under the bobbin guide, over the bobbin guide disc, around the bobbin, and wind. The bobbin will stop when full. Slide off the bobbin cover. Place the bobbin with the Husqvarna Viking logo up. Put your finger on the bobbin to keep it from turning. Pull the thread to the left into the tension spring. Thread up and around the guide, down into the thread cutter. Replace the cover and pull the thread to the left to cut it. Stop the tape now. 
and practice threading your Husqvarna Viking Designer too. The touchscreen area consists of two parts. The touchscreen display and the D-card area makes sewing easy. Touch Funk to step between the Norm, Prog and Rep modes. Use the Prog mode to program stitches and letters. Use the Rep mode to sew your programmed stitches and letters. The Norm mode is used for all other sewing. Touch Set to change settings such as tension and to set the twin needle safety. The Adjust menu is for changing stitch length, width, elongation and mirror image. The Adjust and Norm modes are active when you turn on the machine. Your Designer 2 features interchangeable stitch D cards. Three are supplied with the machine, utility stitches, fashion stitches and block letters. Stitch D card A1 is inserted into the slot on delivery. Stitch 2 is selected to begin sewing. Your new Designer 2 features the exclusive sensor foot lift. Touch the down function button to lower the presser foot. Touch the pivot button to place the presser foot just above the fabric for pivoting and positioning. Touch up for presser foot up. Touch up again to raise the presser foot to the extra lift position. To lower the presser foot, simply step on the foot control. Sew a little, then stop. Touch the needle stop function button to set the needle to stop down. Turn the fabric, sew again, and stop. Turn or pivot the fabric. To remove the fabric from the machine, touch the selective thread cutter button. The needle brings the thread down and both threads are cut. Pull the fabric towards the back of the machine. To sew without the foot control, touch the start-stop function button. Your designer, too, automatically sews tiny fixed stitches at the beginning of the seam. To adjust between five different sewing speeds, Stop sewing and touch the minus speed function button to slow the sewing speed. A pop-up will indicate speed. You can adjust speed while sewing, but no pop-up will appear. Touch the plus speed function button to increase the sewing speed. While sewing, touch the reverse function button. Your designer, too, sews in reverse as long as you hold the reverse button in. For permanent reverse, stop sewing and touch the reverse button twice. So, the reverse button will stay lit. Sew in reverse until you touch the reverse button again to cancel it. Touch the fix button to tie off a stitch. Your designer, too, automatically sews the tiny fix stitches at the beginning of a seam. Touch the fix button at the end of a seam to tie off and stop. The touch screen always suggests the best presser foot for your sewing. To change the presser foot, pull it down and toward you. Then snap the new foot into the ankle. The help menu suggests the correct needle for your project. Read about needle types and sizes in the user's guide and the accessory user's guide. Turn your designer two off. Loosen the needle clamp screw with the screw grip and pull the needle down. Insert the new needle, 
flat side away from you, up as far as it will go, and tighten the screw. Your Designer 2 features the exclusive Husqvarna Viking Sewing Advisor. Touch the Sewing Advisor tab when sewing a project. Select Fabric Type and Weight. Touch Woven Light and the Sewing Advisor automatically goes to the Sewing Technique menu. Select Seam. The Best Stitch, Stitch Length and Width, Thread Tension, Presser Foot Pressure and Sewing Speed are automatically set. There are six different set menus. Touch More to step between them. Touch Set on the display to see the actual setting for your choice of stitch and to make manual adjustments. On the first set menu, touch Minus to decrease and Plus to increase upper thread tension. Touch Minus to decrease and Plus to increase presser foot pressure and Minus or Plus to balance stitches and buttonholes. Touch More. On the second set menu, enter the size of the twin needle when using it for decorative sewing. The width will be limited for your size twin needle. Select the needle to stop up or down with these buttons. To save a favorite setting for a stitch, touch Save. To sew the stitch at a later time, touch Load. Touch More. If you prefer to use the Fix function, the pivot position of the presser foot and the selective thread cutter manually, touch Man on these buttons on Set Menu 3. Touch More. Set Menu 4 is for free motion sewing and to set the sensor system for presser foot Q, which is an optional accessory. Touch More again. To change the language on Set Menu 5, touch the Language tab until your language appears in the window. Touch the Minus and Plus buttons to reduce or increase the screen contrast. Touch Manual if you want to see the Help menu only when you need it. Touch More. If you touch the little hand on the sixth set menu, you are able to calibrate the screen if needed. Touch Adjust. Touch the question mark button to bring up the help menu for suggestions on needle, stabilizer, when to lower the feed teeth, and more. The help menu will pop up automatically when any adjustment needs to be made. If your top thread breaks or runs out, your Designer 2 stops sewing and a pop-up menu prompts you to re-thread. Close the pop-up, raise the presser foot, re-thread, and continue sewing. If your bobbin thread runs out, your Designer 2 will stop sewing and a pop-up menu prompts you to wind and replace the bobbin. Touch OK to close the pop-up. Your Husqvarna Viking Designer 2 features 25 different needle positions. Touch Stitch 1 for left needle position, 2 for center needle, and 3 for right needle position. To set additional needle positions, touch minus on the Stitch Width button to move the needle 12 right needle positions. Touch end-to-end -end mirror image and the width plus button for 12 left needle positions. Touch the sewing advisor. Select woven medium. Touch close. To top stitch along the edge of a collar, touch stitch 1. Snap on the D foot or the optional edge stitching accessory foot and sew with the guide along the edge of the collar.
Touch the sewing advisor. Select fabric woven heavy. Touch close. Snap on the B foot. Touch stitch 8. The reinforced stretch straight stitch is great to mend and sew strong seams. Select stitch 15. The 9 mm wide multiple zigzag to overcast the edges of loosely woven fabrics. Touch stitch 32, the darning stitch to mend tears. Use fine thread that matches in color. Sew over the tear. Touch reverse and continue sewing. This automatic darning stitch will stitch 12 times back and forth over the tear to repair it. Place stabilizer under lightweight fabrics. Why not sew something special for the little people in your life? Touch the Sewing Advisor tab. Select Stretch Medium Fabric. Touch Seam Overcast. The Help pop-up menu recommends Presser Foot B, Stretch Needle 90. Touch Close. This stitch saves time because it sews the seam and overcasts the fabric edge all at once. Use it to sew ribbing to the neckline of a t-shirt. Our shirt features a double ribbing technique. The sewing advisor selects the best stitch for the weight of fabric you are sewing. Touch the sewing advisor tab and select woven medium and blind hem. Snap on the D foot as recommended to stitch invisible hems. Place the hem upside down. Place pins perpendicular to the hem. Fold the hem to the correct side, but leave part of the hem extending to the right. Sew on this extension and remove the pins before sewing. Touch stretch medium fabric and the hem technique for a ready-to-wear hem in knit garments. Touch woven heavy fabric and hem for a top stitched hem in slacks and jeans. Slide the leg over the free arm for easy sewing. Your designer too has an exclusive sensor system. When selecting different fabric weights on the sewing advisor, the foot pressure will be adjusted automatically because it actually senses the thickness of the fabric or the stitching. Touch the Sewing Advisor tab and select Woven Medium Fabric and Buttonhole. Notice the buttonhole foot on the touch screen. The wheel beneath the foot recommends the Sensor Buttonhole Foot. Snap on the Sensor Buttonhole Foot and plug it into the socket. Line up the white line on the foot with the white area on the red wheel. Close the help pop-up. Set the button size with the plus and minus buttons. Use the buttonhole rule in the user's guide to determine the buttonhole size. 
Begin at the bottom of your buttonhole and sew the buttonhole. The machine sews the left side in reverse, then bar tacks and sews the right side, the bar tack, and the tie off. The wheel measures the length of the buttonhole as you sew for perfect buttonholes every time. At the end of the buttonhole, the selective thread cutter will cut top and bobbin thread and raise the presser foot. Select buttonhole 34. To sew a manual buttonhole for small areas like this collar, snap on the C foot and begin sewing at the bottom of the buttonhole. At the end of the first side, touch reverse and continue sewing. When the buttonhole columns are the same length, touch reverse. Your designer too will tie off, cut the threads and raise the presser foot. To sew on buttons, touch the Sewing Advisor tab and Sewing Technique. Select Button Sewing. Touch Close. The Help menu prompts you to remove the presser foot and use the ankle only. Lower the feed teeth with the small dial in the lower front of the free arm. Touch the sensor foot lift pivot function button to bring the ankle down on the button. Use the end to end mirror image button to be sure the needle goes into the holes in the button. Adjust stitch width if needed. Sew several stitches and touch reverse to tie off. Touch the selective thread cutter to cut threads and raise the presser foot. Be sure to raise the feed teeth after sewing buttons. To gather fabric, touch Baste on your sewing advisor. Touch Close. Adjust stitch length to 4.5. Sew two rows of stitching along one edge of the fabric. Pull the bobbin threads up and gather them. See the stitch table in your Designer 2 User's Guide. It will guide you on how to use the utility stitches in the best and easiest way for your sewing.
Press the button on the right side of your designer 2 to eject the D card. Insert stitch D card N1, fashion, with a variety of stitches that can be used for decorative sewing on clothing and other accessories. Touch the Sewing Advisor tab and select Woven Medium and Seam. Use embroidery thread on top and matching sewing thread in the bobbin. Select Stitch 15. Place Tearaway Stabilizer underneath the suede and sew along the first line. Select stitch 17 and stitch on the second line parallel with the first decorative stitch. Sew rickrack trim, velvet and decorative ribbons between the decorative stitches. These fashionable faux suede trousers were embellished with these stitches. With free motion sewing, there are unlimited possibilities to create beautiful stitching for fashion accessories and embellishing garments. Enter the set menu 4. You can choose between free motion stitch 1, which is a straight stitch, and free motion stitch 2, a zigzag stitch. Select free motion stitch 1. Lower the feed teeth so you can move the fabric in any direction. Snap on presser foot R. Thread your designer 2 with embroidery thread on top and in the bobbin. Place water soluble stabilizer in an embroidery hoop. Turn the hand wheel and pull the lower thread up through the fabric and hold both threads to prevent them from being dragged down. Stitch a few stitches to lock the stitch, then cut the thread tails. Start sewing, but not too slowly. Move the hoop smoothly. The speed of the machine and the moving speed decide the size of the stitches. Stitching must overlap to create lace fabric. Rinse off the stabilizer and you will have beautiful lace decorations or jewelry. Read more about free motion sewing in your user's guide. Raise the feed teeth and select the adjust menu. Your designer 2 stitches beautiful applique for garments and home decoration. Change to stitch D card A1. Touch the Adjust menu, select Stitch 28, a 4 mm wide, pre-programmed satin stitch. Snap on Presser Foot B. Touch Needle Stop Down. Satin stitch around the applique. Pivot and turn the heart slightly as you sew around the curves. Continue to satin stitch all around your heart applique.
Use the bridging stitch to stitch lace or ribbon to a finished fabric edge. Select stitch 31. Snap on presser foot B as recommended or the optional edge joining foot. Place the lace and fabric edge to edge in the center under the presser foot and they are perfectly aligned as you sew. You can vary your stitches by using the functions in the Adjust menu. Change Stitch D card to N1. Select Stitch 2. To sew only one pattern of a decorative stitch, touch Stop. Your Designer 2 stops at the end of the pattern. Touch Stop again to turn out the lamp light and to cancel this adjustment. Touch Adjust and Mirror Image End-to-End. -end. See the design change on the touch screen and when you sew it. Touch Mirror Image Side-to-Side. -side. See the design change on the touch screen. To program letters and stitches, touch Funk to activate the prog mode. Touch Stitch 2. The stitch appears on the display. The cursor moves automatically to the next position, ready for the next stitch to be entered. Mirror image the stitch end to end. Change to stitch D card 01, block alphabet. This stitch D card includes three menus, uppercase letters, lowercase letters, and numbers and special characters. Touch menu to step between the menus. To enter the name Anne, touch A in uppercase letters. Touch menu to move to the lowercase menu. Touch the letters N, N, and E. Touch menu twice and touch the lower line to enter a space. Touch menu twice to step to the Numbers and Special Characters menu. To program the date, our date is April 22, 2000, program 22. Touch menu twice. Touch the period. Touch menu and enter 0, then enter 4. Touch menu two times and period. Touch menu and program 2000. Slide in stitch D card N1 and select stitch 2 again. Touch stop to sew the stitch program one time only. Touch Funk to the Rep mode to sew your stitch program. Your stitch program appears on the touch screen. If the programmed stitch sequence is too long to be visible on the display, step forward and backward by touching the arrow buttons. Sew your programmed stitches. There are 17 optional Stitch D cards available from your Husqvarna Viking dealer. Each features up to 35 different stitches with many different types of decorative stitches and accessories. 
In your user's guide, there is an instruction on how to create a useful sewing organizer to keep your sewing supplies in order and practice sewing on your new Husqvarna Viking Designer 2. Care of your Designer 2. Turn off the machine and snap off the presser foot. Slide off the bobbin cover and lower the feed teeth. Use the lint brush with the small accessory on the end. Insert it into the slot at the back of the stitch plate. Twist the brush toward you to pop off the stitch plate. Lift out the bobbin case holder and the bobbin case and brush the lint away. Set the bobbin case in place with the tension spring toward you. Set the bobbin case holder in place and snap on the stitch plate. Be sure it's on all the way. Slide the cover in place and snap on the presser foot. Raise the feed teeth. Now that you've learned the basics on your Designer 2, continue to watch this video to experience the true freedom of sewing. Learn about the optional creative themes for embroidery, quilting, heirloom sewing, home deck sewing, and more. Your creativity is unlimited with your Husqvarna Viking Designer 2. Happy sewing! The freedom is in the flexibility. What is your favorite sewing pastime? Embroidery? Quilting? Heirloom? Home deck? Fashion? Or something else? Choose your theme and the accessories that suit your sewing interest. Equip your designer too for your own sewing. No more, no less. If you sew to decorate your home, you know how fun it is to personalize it. Cushions, chair covers, curtains, and other decorator sewing create a sense of home that cannot be bought and that is appreciated by both your family and your visitors. The home deck theme means you sew professional home decorations easier than ever before. The home deck theme includes several useful presser feet, special T-pins, a pillow cushion template, a large ironing surface, and much more. Down through the ages, people all over the world have enjoyed stitching embroidery designs to personalize and embellish clothing, table linens, and special heirlooms. Early embroideries were stitched by hand. With the embroidery theme, your Husqvarna Viking Designer 2 embroiders your designs effortlessly. Once you've begun embroidering, you'll never stop. The theme includes two embroidery D cards, embroidery hoops, an embroidery unit, and lots of other accessories.
Before the invention of the sewing machine, beautiful hand sewing techniques created one-of-a-kind heirloom garments. The heirloom sewing technique gives you a feeling of tradition, romance and times long gone. Today you can combine Victorian heirloom techniques with more modern ones. All you need is a designer too and the heirloom theme. The optional heirloom theme includes two heirloom stitch D cards, a twin needle, a wing needle, and four presser feet, along with other useful accessories. Quilting is a traditional form of art that exists in different styles all over the world. In the past, a quilt could be a warm friend during cold nights. Today, it can be a work of art in an exclusive art gallery. No matter how the quilt is used, the creation and the creative process behind each quilt is a true joy for the creator. The quilt theme contains the quilt applique stitch D card, quilter's extension table, open toe dual feed foot with guides, free motion guide foot, open toe stippling foot, guide grip, and more. The product development at Husqvarna Viking never stops. It goes on and on to satisfy the needs and desires of our customers. This means that new themes for your designer too will be available at your Husqvarna Viking dealer. This is the true freedom of sewing. Oh,